Hello, is developer experience overrated? We'll discuss this today a little bit and I just want to preface this by saying of course it's important. I don't think that developer experience doesn't matter but I think there are some other things that sometimes don't get mentioned enough. So in my mind what I want to do is give you a little bit more complete picture of what really matters when it comes to how to create APIs that drive value and in the end that's I think what all of us want to do. Developer experience is the simple idea of API usability. How easy is it for a developer to use an API and what they often do is they build some kind of application with it. For simplicity of this discussion let's assume it's an application that is user facing. So it's an application that a user will eventually use. If you look at developer, developer experience, it just looks at how easy is it for a developer to use that API to build this application. So these are the, the simple parts that are within that overall picture. And again, that's not nothing. It's important that the developer can do that as easily as possible. But is it the only thing and is it the most important thing? That's the thing that I want to discuss today. If we zoom out a little bit, Another thing that we now see is that what actually also enters the picture is the end user. The end user who's using the app that the developer built using the API. And that end user has user experience, right? They can get stuff done that maybe they couldn't get done before or more easily. But it is something that becomes very important because in the end, what really matters here is not so much that the app developer was able to build an app. What really matters is that we have happy end users who are able to do things that they couldn't do before so that they can get their jobs done. So I would argue that one thing that already is more important than developer experience is the usefulness of the API. The ability to build an app with that API that provides value to an end user. Because if you have the greatest developer experience on the planet, but your API doesn't really do anything useful, you can't build a useful app with it. And then it doesn't matter that you are very easily able to build that app because nobody wants to use it. So I think if we look at this, we already see that the user experience is more important than the developer experience. But we can zoom out even further. And if we zoom out further, we get to see one more thing in this picture, which is the provider side, the service provider of the API. The API doesn't just magically exist. Somebody needs to design it, build it, run it, pay for the infrastructure cost of it. So there is somebody else involved with it, which is the organization that is the service provider. And that means that for them, it only makes sense to go through the effort of building and maintaining that application. That effort only makes sense if there is some value exchange happening, which in the end means this organization drives value in some shape or form, which means that this organization says, yes, we should continue to provide this service through an API. And this value exchange, again, is essential for the API to make sense. Because even if you think of the best user experience that you can possibly build with an API, if there's nobody willing to operate the ABI that you think you need, then the whole picture doesn't really work, right? You need somebody who's providing that API. And for that, there needs to be a value exchange, an alignment of values where the user says, this is what we want to get done. And the organizational side says, and this is why we are providing the service. And by value, I don't mean necessarily money, driving income, revenue, whatever it is. Value means really that value. So for example, if you're a public service API, the value that you want to drive is, let's say, citizen happiness, right? You want to make your citizens more happy. They can get more stuff done. 
So in that case, the value that you would want to optimize, that you would want to invest in, would be the citizen value, so to speak, that you are focusing on because that's your job as an organization. But I do think that it is important to always look at these three things. What is the value exchange that's happening? What is the user experience that we can build with that value exchange? And then how easy do we make it for developers to build user experiences that actually deliver this to the end user? And all these pieces are important. But in my mind, sometimes nowadays, the user experience and the value exchange get a little bit of a backseat and everybody says developer experience is the only thing that matters. And I think that's wrong and I also think it means that some people focus too much on that and not enough on first figuring out which API do we even want to build. Do we build a good API that aligns with how we create value? And do we build it in a way so that good user experiences can be powered with it? And then once you've done those steps, then I think it makes also sense to say, and how do we build a good developer experience so that developers can now easily build apps with that API? But that's really just one aspect of it. And I also think that sometimes the discussion is a little bit too much focused on the scenario where you say, there are a variety of scenarios where uh, we know that this is valuable for an organization, we know this is valuable for users, so the only differentiating factor then becomes the developer experience. And that happens to be the case in some of the examples that people always talk about. Let's use the, the one example everybody mentions all the time, Stripe payment services. Here it's pretty clear. An organization can benefit from supporting payments because they can get a cut of the payments. So the value exchange is pretty clear. They allow those payments to happen and they get a cut. So it makes sense for them. From the user point of view, it's the same kind of almost obvious value proposition where you say, of course, users want to be able to pay for things in their apps. So they benefit from a user experience where their payment works easily and across all kinds of credit cards and maybe different payment methods. So also the user experience, I think, is pretty much a given. And if you look at this, then of course, now if you have multiple payment services competing, the thing they can compete on is the developer experience. How easy do we make it for developers to use our API over the competition so that they start using building our API into their apps instead of the competition? But it's really important to keep in mind that this is not the main scenario for most APIs in the API space. This is a scenario where there is competition around API as a product. And there are scenarios like that. But always keep in mind the vast majority of APIs and the vast majority of the value that gets created through APIs is not through API as a product. It's through partner APIs, it's through internal, private APIs, it's through APIs where you don't have the same picture of there is competition around multiple API providers and I can differentiate myself by providing the best developer experience. Again, I don't want to say that developer experience isn't important. I just, in my mind, there's a little bit too much focus on it sometimes. And to be honest, I think there's also focus on it because it's easy, right? You can sell tooling around developer experience. You can sell documentation platforms. You can sell SDK generation things. You can sell uh, sandboxing things, right? So there's a lot of tooling that you can sell that makes it easier for people to build a better developer experience. And, and therefore I understand that a lot of people maybe focus on that. And the other parts are a little bit trickier, right? How do I decide which API is useful? There's not much tooling that you can sell around this. This is more the practice of even identifying the APIs that I want to build. And how can I make sure that the API that I'm building is aligned with the values 
that I want to create as an organization. Again, there's not that much tooling that you can sell around this. This is mostly really figuring out, well, what's your business model? What are maybe potential other things you could do to support or extend your business model? And how do those things then map to possible APIs that you could be building, which you can then build out into APIs that provide a good user experience. And I think that these parts of value exchanges and user experience are just quite a bit more tricky to get right, which also means that I think it's not quite that easy to talk about them. But in my mind, it's really important to keep in mind that what we're trying to do with APIs is not so much just focus on the interface. We really want to have an end-to-end -end picture from an organization that provides the service through an API to the end user who gets some job done because of the API that they can use in some application that they're using. And just don't forget that this overall picture is the one that really drives API success. So in my mind, value exchange is the most important thing. Alignment with how you want to generate value through APIs. The second important is user experience. So how can I align that value exchange with what people want to get done, where I know that people want to do certain things. And then the third one is, yes, it also is nice if that API that you're now building is easy to use for a developer, but that's really just the third thing. And in my mind, it's something where you can also look at how much effort do I need to go through if, for example, these are internal APIs or partner APIs where maybe they don't need to be quite as polished in terms of making them the most perfect developer experience than you can possibly imagine. So just keep in mind that there's a whole spectrum of things to look at and not just this one thing of developer experience. And um, that's all that I wanted to talk about today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you find it interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And that's it for today. Thanks a lot, all the best. Until next time, keep getting APIs to work. Bye-bye.